All right, guys, we got the Arma Fire Team 6S, and I just want to drive it for a little bit out here. Nothing crazy. I got my dumb hat on now. <laughs> And those rocks here still. I already had a couple bad landings over here, guys. I think maybe it was sliding around and hit kind of hit the hill here a little wrong, but. But these are the couple of landings I had really went wrong. I think that's what it was right there. You see? It starts sliding and then it hits the jump crooked. Extremely fun vehicle to slide around. And guys, it has the the e-brake on the servo there. It has a servo on the little multifunction button down here. It has the I don't know why I keep, I don't know why I say little before I really have to work on. Guys, if you start, it doesn't have to be RCs. I think if you just start filming yourself, you'll just hear little, there I go again. You'll hear random things that you say that are just to yourself. You're like, why do I say that? Ah, 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 ah look at that. <laughs> I am surprised. Guys, you see the, that wreck had some elevation on it. Oh, now I'm, I'm hesitant. I wonder if it's heavy in the front or something. Cause it wants to kind of nosedive. I don't know. Like there, I kept the power on a little bit and raised raised it up how you do. Let's see how fast she moves across the... Guys, this is a fast car. <laughs> yes. The fire team's got to get places, you know. If they're leading like a highly organized elite strike force get in get out I see a lot of mixed feelings guys on the on the body of this car how it's kind of the you know it's kind of like a military vehicle some say it looks a little bit goofy. You know, I'm... I'm, well, I like it well enough that I'm not gonna, that I'm not gonna change it because it's unique, like... You know, guys, all my, all the other trucks that I have look like trucks or cars. They don't have these little scale, like, soldiers in them. E-brake turn. I have to go easy on the brake because I just feel that if I hit, I feel that if I hit the brake too hard, it'll go flipping some. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Walk of shame. Um, as I edit this out hit the brake too hard I felt at this high speed I felt like the car would go rolling and you know that's exactly what happened
Look at that thing kicking the rocks around. Here you go. <laughs> guys on my very i just got a new body for my x max and came up here it was the rock and roll too it was the rock and roll edition and uh i came up here with the x max and i was coming in too fast there and the x max hit the fence and like pushed the fence up and went underneath it and got stuck scratched the body all up I was so mad. I honestly, I had to go over there and pry the vehicle out of the damn fence. I don't know how long, the, these are the Spectrum 100C 5000 milliamp. At least I'm saying milliamp today instead of milliamp like I was the other day. Playing the uh, Creighton. Speaking of, I brought the crate and home and I was gonna, I was going to clean the vehicle off, but you know, I put it downstairs where the basement got my compressor ready. I'm like, and this is a word of caution guys, word of caution. I left the, not only did I leave the car plugged in, but I left it on the low cutoff. So it was, it couldn't move. The car couldn't move because it was on that low cutoff. But I left that on and I believe it killed a cell on one of my Gen Z bashing batteries. So, uh. Jeez. Jeez. That was a costly mistake right there. Guys, I just got some serious rocks. Oh, that's a good launch pad. I wish I hadn't saw that. <laughs> I have to be careful out here. I, this thing is, well, not this, but just these RCs will throw, throw these rocks. Sorry if it's noisy out here, guys. This is a, this is like a bustling little intersection here. But I really like this field. I like this feel up. Oh. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> to be continued. I will. Come on, the wheels. No. Oh, uh, no. But yeah, it's loud over here sometimes. But I enjoy the little. God, I can't. I can't stop saying little. I don't. I don't know what's wrong. That's not snow. See that? I don't know what that is. <laughs> there we go. Better. Whoa, better. Better. Not the best. Not like I'm, I'm not going 30 feet off in the air off of skate ramps or anything, guys, but I landed this bad enough over here. My first couple jumps over here, I, like I was saying earlier in the video, I hit this crooked and the thing skid for 50 feet on its roof. I'm like, well, there's that body's not in good shape anymore. I like hitting that hill too right there <laughs> it's a fun little area two wheel two wheel see what I mean it's not you're not these you're not have giant ramps or 
but you can just kind of drive around and have fun. Want to see an e-brake? There we go. E-brake turn, guys. <laughs> oh, two wheel, some two wheel action. Oh, the tree branch got it. <laughs> Guys, I kind of love this car. It's it's super super tough. Super durable. Can e-brake turn. It handles well. Like the, you see guys, the stock servo. That's the stock servo right there. Plenty of, plenty fast, plenty strong. Oh, there's low cutoff guys. Thank you guys for watching the Arma Fire Team. I appreciate it. DSC James RC, we break RCs, we don't break hearts. Guys, I just want to say, I bashed some, I had another battery pack, uh, so I bashed the fire team a little bit more. I just want to give a lot of props to Arma, look how dirty my hand is trying to clean the truck off. I just want to give props to Arma. I cannot believe how durable this machine is. Some of the crashes that it took, still driving, still ready for more. Um, Arma fire team, 6S. Yes, stamp of approval, DST James RC.